Hi, this is Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, two-time former world heavyweight champion, and you're watching Cool True Sports. <laughs> True School Sports. True School Sports. There you go, champ. Thank you. All right, Brennan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with Isaac Chamberlain. He's wrapping up his training camp. It's coming to an end here in Miami. Um, I'm nearly home. Nearly home. Nearly Got to go to London soon. Yeah. Uh, Isaac, what, what I wanted to touch on was just like, because a lot, a lot of people have had a chance to really, uh, they haven't heard much from you since Luke Watkins or Lawrence Coley fight. I kind of wanted to touch on like, a, what, um, if, you could, if you could take us back to that night at the O2 with uh, Lawrence, um, just um, what, what happened that night? Um, I think it was a very character building moment. I think it was a bit too early for both of us. Mm -hmm. Hence the styles clashing and everything. But um, I definitely took a lot of experience from that fight, especially with uh, especially with the things that happened behind the scenes and all the stuff that I've learned since then. Um, I definitely think it was a blessing in disguise, and uh, you know I'm just so focused on the future now. You know I'm kind of glad all of those things happened because it made me a stronger character, a tougher character to be the best that I can be. I kind of, it kind of came a bit too early, I, I believe, but the experience was priceless. Absolutely, and um, you know, I, I was just telling you the gym today because I, I mean, I've, I've been following you since your, your fight with uh, Wadi Camacho. Um, you look a different fighter, like you look like a completely different fighter. Um, I wanted to ask you about Jorge Rubio because he seems to have had a really positive effect on your style. Uh, talk about Jorge Rubio and how he's had a positive effect. He's Hall of Fame. He's, Hall of, he's a Hall of Fame coach. Yeah. He's worked with so many world champions. And he's saying that I'm up there with the best of them. So obviously that's definitely saying something. He's trained guys like Ruben Dahl, Amir Khan, David Hay, Liu Campbell, top, top athletes. And um, he said, you know, I have what it takes to be one of the best there. You know, it's a mixture. It's a mixture of Jorge Rubio and Angel Fernandez mm -hmm. who trains me when I'm in London. Adrian Fernandez is an amazing coach. You know, he's a fresh head on his shoulders. You know, he's always trying and implementing new things, which is amazing. You know, me and him get on very, very well. And it's, it's funny because the stuff that Adrian doesn't have, Jorge has, and the stuff that Jorge doesn't have, Adrian has. Yeah. So obviously, I'm using the best of both. So when they're together, it's just like it comes together. So um, it's literally amazing. It's amazing, you know, working with both of them. Absolutely. Um, today I was watching you. Like you were just doing all these crazy drills, and, and you were like a you were like a CIA. You were like a born identity. You were just slipping punches left, right, and center. Um, how do you feel like your, your skills? Like because people who haven't had my people who are not in my shoes who haven't had a chance to see you train consistently, they don't they, they still know you from the Coley and Watkins fights. It's good, and that's I a good like thing. That. I like that. I like that they still think I'm the same person. I like that they still think I'm not gonna change. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm so focused on changing every day. I'm so focused on changing and adapting and, and being better. Why do you think I'm out here? I'm 5,000 miles away from home yeah. by myself in, this, in the hood. In the hood, in I mean, Miami. Yeah. And for those of you guys who, can, who can't see, like, look, when I, he's in Miami, but he's not in South Beach. This is, this is Hyatt Leah. This is, this, is this is the ghetto. This is the slums. And that's where, that's where he's at, living humble, you yeah, know? I, I love it, though. You know, um, I'm here literally one thing on my mind is to get better, to progress and to get better and better and better and um, I just really can't wait. Yeah. How do you feel you've gotten better? Um, literally in every department. I'm going better in every department. Um, especially with my books. You know, little things. Before I didn't really bend my waist much, I didn't twist my body much. Now there's a lot of leverage behind my punches. A lot of different things, the way I'm punching, the way I'm slipping with punches, and the way I'm just adapting to the style here. And uh, I just think it's great, you know, I think it's great the way that I'm learning and adapting and I'm watching fighters, um, I'm watching fighters with a similar style to me and trying to pick up those things. Because obviously it's all good and well learning from your training, but sometimes you have to pick things up for yourself. Absolutely. And that's what I've been doing. So I'm just a student of the game all the time. And I'm just non-stop wanting to get better. Absolutely. I, I saw, I, I, brought, I, I brought this earlier to you. Um, 
I saw on your Instagram a while ago, uh, you, took, uh, you mentioned that Joe Kawasaki was uh, one of your favorite fighters. Um, you kind of, there are some things, like, I didn't, I, when Jorge first said, like, your style is kind of like Joe Kazagi, I didn't quite see it, but, but today, I, when I was watching, I saw a couple of things. Um, I was going to ask you about, uh, what's going to ask you about, yeah, just Joe Kazagi, one of your favorite fighters. Like, yeah, I mean, he's up there with one of the, the fighters that I watch. You know, um, I was drawing this one a whole lot as well. Oh, wow. Because I love his style. I love his style. I, I even reached out to him. I messaged him on Instagram. He's giving me tips and everything. Really? Yeah. Definitely, when I'm in New York, I'm going to go and visit him. What's that gym in Brooklyn? In Brooklyn? Uh, Gleason's. Gleason's gym. Yeah, I'm going to visit him there. You know, just to get some ideas and just pick his brain as well. Um, a lot of the fighters that I watch. Sugar Ray Leonard, and I watch a Sugar Ray Leonard as well. Roy Jones. Yeah. yeah. So I like to pick up bits of people. Is there is there any like uh, is there anything that Johan Guzman told you that stuck out? Um, literally his style. Just um, he loves you know feints and the uppercuts and then slipping after you punch and you move it, but you don't move so much. It's just all about inches and timing. And I think being here, my timing's gotten a lot better. My distance has gotten a lot better. Yeah, yeah. I'm judging distance a lot better, a lot better. Timing, everything is just starting to fall into place now. Okay. Uh, you came from you come from Brixton, which I know is a very rough uh, uh, area. Can you, can you talk about Brixton and kind of just describe it for people who've never been there? Um, now it's a lot ge more gentrified. Oh, okay, is it? Uh, yeah, it's a lot more gentrified. But when, when I was growing up, yeah, it was ruthless, man. It was ruthless. But, um, it was it was it was tough growing up, of course. But um, you just you just kind of deal with it. So if you grow into it, you don't really know any better. You know what I mean? So, uh, it's, uh, it's good because everyone there is hungry. It made me the best I am today. And I, mean, I, love, I love it. So I always have love for this. Absolutely. Um, I noticed one time, I think I saw a post on Instagram a while ago. Uh, you were with Angel Fernandez and you posted a, a scripture. Are you are you a Christian? Are you? Are you? Yeah. Okay. Does that, does that play a role? I mean, it's kind of a stupid question, but like, does that play a role into like, uh, you as a fighter, your faith? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. God brought me to where I am today, man. You know, I'm nothing about it. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. I wouldn't have had the opportunities that I've been blessed with. So I'm always thankful, I'm always grateful, you know? I'm always grateful. And uh, the talent that he's given me, I'm just trying to work as much as I can to not waste it. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this, Isaac. I've been around a lot of fighters as far as like just here in South Florida and traveling and stuff. And you're definitely one of the hardest workers I've seen. So I mean, I think, I think you're doing so, all right for yourself. You need to work harder. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, no, I just, I just, that's, that's just in my mind anyway. Yeah, I need to you're never satisfied, you always want to push the envelope. Yeah, I just want to be like, literally, on a different level, something nobody's ever seen before. Yeah. I'm always trying to be something like that, you know. We're on the right track. Okay, well, uh, any message, any message to everybody out there that's going to watch this on the vlog? Well, um, just, thank you for following me. Yeah. Thank you for following me. And, uh, I'll say a little bit of how I live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> well, you know, it's, it's, it's the sacrifices that you have to make to be a champion, you know, it's the sacrifices that you have to make to be a champion, so mm -hmm. I'm doing whatever it takes, so thank you so much, I love and appreciate it. There you go, Isaac Chamberlain, one of boxing's best up and coming fighters, thank you man. Hi, my name is Caressa Shields and you're watching True School Sports.